What is up everybody, it is Wick here and I'm out at Goodwill looking for some treasure I can buy and sell online. And I'm going to be hitting a few stores today, some of them I haven't hit in a couple months, so pretty excited. But check this out, really excited to see this. An NES Mini, unfortunately it's not a good one. <laughs> it's the ripoff one, but still $1.99, that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, it was worth the excitement for $1.99 seeing that on the shelf. Also picked up one of those plug and play Miss Pac-Man games. Some of those are worth money. Over here, I got this Angry Birds. It's like a, what is it, docking station for your iPhone. It's got the old connector. So that's a problem. It didn't have the remote. Uh, $6.99, I looked it up. One sold with the remote for about $30. So without the remote, I ended up putting that back. And that's just the way it is sometimes. Uh, a lot of things are missing the remotes or they got problems. Uh, wasn't that big of money anyway over in the toys we got some bags of looks like hot wheels matchbox cars again i don't buy a lot of loose bags like this unless it's an insane amount for cheap um i just don't know what's valuable other than like red lines and you know stuff from the 60s obviously i look for that got some rock band guitar hero stuff down here 5.99 pretty beat up it's the playstation ones and you gotta have the dongles for them to work I get a lot of returns when I try to sell those PlayStation guitar guitars, so I just decided I'm not going to mess with them for $5.99 in that condition. I have sold those before. I have made money. That's just I'm kind of over it right now. Um, if they're Xbox, I'm more likely to buy them because they don't need a dongle. Of course, if I find the dongles, I just sold two or three dongles recently for about $50 a piece, so I'm always looking for those. I just don't find them anymore. Um, the ones I sold, I just found in the death pile. I probably bought two or three years ago. Checking out some dolls here, seeing if there's any, you know, Bratz dolls, anything special that I recognize as being valuable. Been finding some decent Monster High and Bratz doll stuff. Here's some, some sort of Matchbox thing, I think. I, I tried finding some info on it. For what I could tell, it wasn't worth picking up. Same with that Thomas the Tank engine, like, case there. Over in the electronics... Lots of stuff to look at. A little clock. Uh, it's been a while since I found a good clock <laughs> to buy and sell. Some of them are great. We got some oh, massagers, a remote. No, that's a phone. That's an old Motorola. Looks like maybe it's a cell phone. I don't know. Not worth it, unfortunately. Especially old phones. A lot of those. There's some flip phones that actually do pretty well. Uh, just not those style. Got this uh, unit here. I decided not to pick it up just based on profit, price, no remote, all that kind of stuff. Got way too many electronics. Let's dig in this basket of cords. Maybe those dongles are in here. Um, no, unfortunately not. I think I've actually found a dongle in that basket before years ago. It's, it's crazy that that little tote has stayed there that long. Got some VR stuff. Uh, just the basic VR, like not true VR headsets. $10 for these headphones, Skull Candy. I looked them up. They're selling for about 20 bucks new. So decided not to grab those. Uh, not worth picking up for that little bit of profit after shipping. Had this vintage like toaster oven down there. I meant to look that up. I don't remember if I did. Some of those vintage appliances do quite well. People, I guess, are doing their kitchens in that old vintage style. And they want the original electronics from like the 70s 80s new goodwill new electronics <laughs> here is a remote um maybe i should have picked up that remote i like to use those with the panasonics those tower remotes uh, they work with most panasonic units i can bundle them when i sell them uh, that one was pretty dirty i don't remember what it was priced at what's this down here talking scale i, I mentioned before some scales really good money just gotta look up the brand and model uh, bread makers, some of those are really good money. You got to be careful with bread makers, though. A lot of them are saturated. Uh, I buy them for parts sometimes. Sometimes the unit's worth selling. Again, you just got to do your research. You got to compare how many people selling this stuff uh, based on how many are actually selling in the eBay sold filters. Here's a Panasonic bread maker, and one of the really good ones is a Panasonic maker. That one was an older one that was not worth picking up, though. Over here at this Goodwill, we're in the electronics again. Love checking out this aisle, and we got a camera. Ended up picking up that camera. It was a, it's a good one. Uh, I got this hot 
hoops in my hand. Um, I think it, it was Hot Shots. Uh, it's kind of a ripoff of the original Hot Shots basketball, I think. There's a guy blocking this Blu-ray player I thought could be a Blu-ray recorder. Um, some of those are really big money. However, it's not. It's just an old Blu-ray player. So I did take another look at that camera, looked it up, grabbed it, heading over to the toys. And what kind of treasures do we have here? Star Wars figure. Uh, not worth anything. Too new. Plus, uh, that, that was such a bad character in the new Star Wars movies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what do we got here in the toys? Any sealed puzzles, sealed games? Person in my way. Get out of the way, person. I got I got stuff to do. I got fines to find. <laughs> so, we got some dolls. A unicorn head. And we got a tote here. We're going to dig through a little bit. Here's a little spawn figure. I don't think that was anything special. Seems like maybe it was from McDonald's or something. Or not spawn. That was venom, actually. Um, yeah, you just got to be careful not to miss anything. I say that, but I always miss something. Here's a decapitated cupcake, I guess. Uh, I don't know what happened to that thing. Let me know what you're going to find at Goodwill. Uh, over here, though, I, I see this new wave, and I'm thinking, ah, eh, Goodwill's got this price 50, just like always. No, $9.99. And I actually just shipped that out yesterday. Uh, I think I sold it for 70 plus shipping. So I did pick up the new wave. Uh, we got a tiny head baby doll there. Not interested. We got some, I thought that was Power Rangers. I checked, it wasn't. $40, I think that said $40, plastic John Deere tractor. Fingerlings, remember when these were so huge a few years ago? They were selling out at Walmart. Everyone was buying them and flipping them for like 50 bucks. Not really worth much now. Balderdash though, this $1.99 sealed. Yeah, I can sell it on Amazon for good money. So surprise, it's only $1.99 with how Goodwill prices stuff sometimes. Uh, most of these used games are not even priced at dollar ninety nine. Got a, a drum set up there at first act probably. Some of that stuff's worth picking up. I don't think I noticed that when I was looking. Um, where are we at now? I'm not even sure. I guess we're still at the same Goodwill. Looking at the electronics now, <laughs> and I, I buy this. I grab this Emerson VCR. I take it home. I do the haul and everything. I don't even notice the the play buttons missing on it. So yeah, I ended up returning that uh, once I went to test it. I'm like, there's no play button here. This is this is embarrassing. So <laughs> yeah, um, I just won't put that total in the haul when we get to it. Uh, Would have been a pretty good flip. Uh, I think it was only like $8. The Emerson stuff does okay, the VCRs anyway. Had a remote for it. Here is a little player. I don't know if it was Blu-ray or DVD. Not really worth it for me. Uh, typewriters down there. Very picky with the typewriters. I pick up shoes and shoes have been exciting at Goodwill. Not right now because they haven't changed the prices, but a manager told me all shoes at Goodwill now, at least in our area, is going to be $4.99 that people were complaining. So I've mentioned, you know, if, if Goodwill's pricing stuff way too high, get on there, complain on Google, call corporate. She said people were calling corporate complaining. So yeah, all the shoes are $4.99. It's been great the past couple weeks. I found some really good stuff. Um, be reasonable if you're gonna complain about this stuff though. Uh, you know, if they price on them seven or eight dollars for a pair hundred dollar pair of shoes. Uh, these Jordans, like I just found, amazing pair. Um, I also got some stuff on a new cart that just came out. Grabbed it real quick. A Wii for $6.99. Um, pretty good, no controllers, but to see a Wii come out at Goodwill. And be priced $6.99. It's worth picking up. Black one. Also got that Panasonic radio, which is good. Uh, just kind of fell there. But yeah, I got that listed right now. Maybe it will sell. Um, very clean. And look at this. A new cart came out and I found these two t-shirts. These things are actually amazing. Um, very high dollar wrestling t-shirts. So we'll talk about those more in the haul. And at the end of the week, I wanted to add this footage because I went to Goodwill flash sale where everything was 50% off. So they had some new stuff out and I was just buying it up. I'm gonna make some good profit on this stuff as well. Uh, I got an elephant there. I don't know what that elephant was from. That pig looking at me. I don't know what that pig wants from me. But down here on the bottom, 
some shoes and stuff but i got some decent stuff in my cart already so i figured i better start recording i'm gonna have to add this stuff to the haul i think it's gonna be pretty haul worthy uh you can see you got three carts pulled out here and i was the first or second one in the store so i was quick to come over here and look at the stuff this is kind of my second pass through low looking at it because you can see i already got some stuff in the cart um some shoes and I do end up buying some shoes here. I see these Uggs. I'm like, ugh, Ugg. Uh, something about Uggs, I just don't like buying them used because they, they always have damage on them. Um, but yeah, they were only like $2.25 or something. And I got two pair. I think they're the same size, so maybe I can lot them together. And they're pretty clean. So at that price, I just went ahead and grabbed them. I think I can make some profit on them. I did find a brand new pair recently at a yard sale, which I can sell for 120. That's fine. I'll take those all day. Got some dishes, hair dryer. There's the other pair down there. I ended up grabbing. I also find this it said food processor on it in a dog food box. So I wanted to check it out. And there is a food processor in there. And it's actually a KitchenAid one vintage. Got a lot of attachments. So half off of $24.99. You know, I'll take that. And I think that's about it for my journey uh, for this video as far as looking. I don't think I found anything else in this footage, but of course I have a big haul coming up. Uh, not everything in the footage will be shown. Um, some of it's shown in the haul, just what I'm recording. So yeah, let's jump into it. Let me show you everything I picked up. Check out this amazing haul. I got some incredible finds to start in the back here. I found this Wii. It just came out on a cart, was standing there, and I'm like, is that a Wii down there? It looked $6.99. It's got all the cables. No remotes, though, but for $6.99, that's an incredible deal, especially finding it at Goodwill. Plugged it in. There was no game inside, unfortunately. Still, this is going to be some great profit. I got controllers to bundle with it. Another thing at Goodwill is this... At first, I thought it was the NES Mini, uh, the original one. It's not. It's the ripoff one. Uh, $1.99, I'm still surprised Goodwill priced it that low. And it's not really that valuable. I think you can buy these things new for like 28 bucks. I don't know what the actual NES Mini is going for. Uh, probably $80 used. Um, probably over 200 new. I found one in a garage sale last year. And I think I sold it for about $80. But... Unfortunately, that's just the basic one. Then we got this Miss Pac-Man handheld plug-and-play TV, $2.99. I was actually only charged $1.99 for it. So I got both of these for $1.99. I sell these. There's a little bit of profit in them. Usually I bundle other plug-and-plays in just to save on shipping, make a little bit more money that way. So I went ahead and grabbed those. It'll be a little bit of profit there. Here is some Jordans. $4.99 at Goodwill. Also, they're kind of dirty but they should clean up. I don't see any major damage. I didn't look them over too good. At $4.99, I saw a pair sell for $100 plus shipping. There's really not a lot of these on there. I think there's only like two pair listed uh, from looking up the, the number on the tag anyway. So I'll probably price these, I don't know, maybe $75 and see if they sell. I got a couple pairs of these Dr. Comfort Orthopedic shoes are in really good condition. I've never found this pair before, so I thought it would be good. Goodwill didn't mark these shoes up either. Uh, usually that store is very high on shoes. They were only $4.99 and this pair sells for $40 plus shipping used. Uh, this pair probably be more like $25, maybe $30 pre-owned plus shipping. So good money in those two Dr. Comfort shoes. Also got this pair of Adidas shoes. I think these were selling pretty well. I forget now. Uh, about $30 plus shipping. Uh, maybe $40 plus shipping. Again, only paid $4.99 for them, so I grabbed them. They're in great shape. Got some of these board games, Marvel Villainous. Uh, looked cool. Thought it might be valuable. Some of these Marvel games are. I don't know, it seems like it. maybe it was like $10 profit on Amazon. Uh, I'll probably just hold on to it for a while, maybe try to play it at some point. But down here, I found this Balderdash game, $1.99, brand new, sealed. This one is selling new on Amazon for $79.99 right now. And I had this same game sealed but it had a bit too much box damage i think i sent it in for about 50 dollars. sold it as used like new on amazon and it sold so i, I have confidence i'm going to be able to sell this for 79.99 again it's just kind of crazy they only price it a dollar 99 they don't even price used games a dollar 99 most of the time so you just never know 
what you're going to run into when you go thrifting at these places. End up paying $7.99 for this Canon Sure Shot 85mm camera. Comps on these were great. It's got the manual in there, the case, which is a Canon case. I don't know if there's anything else. I don't think so. I think there's still some film in there, though. I'll make it easier to test. Usually when I test film cameras like this, I just make sure they fire and the film moves through properly. Um, and then I just describe that as how I tested it. If it does that, it, it usually works. But it looks like I'll price this camera at about $80. Uh, so nice little pickup there. And underneath, we got a 799 Emerson VCR. Of course, I have seven days to return this to Goodwill if it doesn't work. Uh, the Emerson stuff seems to do pretty well on Amazon. I price it probably close to $100 with the remote. I will buy the remote and sell it on Amazon. I think I might have a remote. I have like three or four Emerson remotes. Surely one of them will work with it. So right here, I got this Panasonic Radio Vintage. It's in really good condition. And I almost put it back after I look up the comps. I was like, ah, oh, $25, $30, but it had the power cable. Opened up the back there, power cable's in there. So with that information, I decided to buy it. There's going to be some profit there. Um, I looked it up quick. It came off the new cart with the Wii and everything. I just grabbed it, threw it in the cart. So I'll have to look it up again, put the total on the screen. And here we have a new wave. Pro Plus, and you know, I didn't expect this to be priced right. Usually Goodwill prices these, you know, upwards of $50 sometimes. Saw so it was only $9.99, I'm like, oh boy, I guess I have to buy it. And the only reason I, I don't really want to buy it is because of the size. I'm running out of space. I just sold my last New Wave unit not long ago, and I was thrilled that it was gone. But you know what? At that price, it's such great profit. You know I'm buying it. Um, I don't know if I'm parting out this one or not. The last one I sold just the full unit, but you can part these out and this piece alone can sell for almost $40 plus shipping, $40 plus shipping, the bottom piece is less, the extender ring a bit less, but it's all profit. People buy this stuff. I held off to do this video until I went to that Goodwill half off sale, wanted to see what I could find and ended up getting some good deals. You got this cat you may have been seeing sitting here kind of creepy looking uh very realistic though and i think it, it's an old tiger one i think it's a for reals technically you know what it's not worth a super high-end amount or anything like that but i think i can sell it for 30 bucks plus shipping this particular one it's half off so it was three dollars fifty cents got some of these cassette holders since i've been buying cassettes i bought them for personal use though this kind of stuff can be worth money uh this these i'm not so sure they're a little scratched and beat up they're only two dollars so i went ahead and grabbed those to store some cassettes in got these half off uh three bucks they are some sort of champagne glass yeah i looked them up i was surprised they were selling for about 30 to $40. They're new, so yeah, for $3, I pick them up. Same with these Ugg boots. I usually don't buy Uggs used that much because, well, a lot of times they're priced up and the suede, leather, lambskin, whatever these might be, they're, they get damaged easy. But these were cheap. They ended up being just a couple dollars. So maybe I'll lot the two together. I don't know. I ended up getting some Ugg boots at a yard sale one year. I paid like a dollar a piece for them and I just did a lot. Sold all three pairs. I think I got like $45 for them. I just know there's some money there, so I picked them up. Here's another thing I got at the half off sale is $24.99. I saw the box. It was like for dog food or something. And I saw food processor written on. Of course, they had it taped up. Like, who's just going to buy this for $24.99? It's like, food processor? Is it a food processor? You know, like, just leave the box untaped, Goodwill. So I pulled out my keys, cut it open, and it's a KitchenAid food processor. Looks to be complete and in good condition. Vintage. This unit, you know, like this, I think I'll be able to sell for about $80, $90 plus shipping. If it doesn't work, I'm parting this stuff out and making money that way. It was half off, so yeah. Not a bad pickup at all. It is time to look at some of this amazing clothing. And this came out on a new rack. You hear me say that a lot for some of my best finds because this stuff just doesn't last long. I got a couple wrestling shirts. This is Lita? Lita? <laughs> I don't know. It is vintage and I looked it up. One sold for $150. And the only one listed currently is $200. It's got 33 watchers. I'm gonna come in at about $175 on this shirt, I think. I don't think it's ever been worn. It is not a reprint or anything. You, some people sell these like prints. You can buy them for 20 bucks, but you know, if you look on here, you can see the date, you can see they're official. You can look at the tag and tell that way. 
People want the original stuff. There's the back for anyone interested. Was thrilled to see this uh, when I pulled it out. And then the next one I pulled out, yeah, almost as good. This is NWO Sting shirt 1998 and let's look at the tag i think this is a wcw tag there again it doesn't look like it's been worn i don't know if there's anything on the back no but it's got a full front here it looks like i could sell this shirt probably it seemed like i was going to price it 150 i told myself so that's probably what i'll do i think there was one or a couple that sold for 100 plus shipping maybe it was because i have the only one now listed uh, this particular style. But between those two shirts, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be great profit. I only paid $2.99 for them. Then I picked up this Lee Sports Buckeyes Ohio State sweatshirt vintage. Uh, I think it was like big, yeah, Big Ten Conference. Pretty good one. I think I can sell this for about $20, $25 plus shipping. $3.99 is what I paid for that. So pick that up. Here's one of the items that was at the half off Goodwill flash sale. This is a new with tags Polar Arc Classic 300 jacket. And this same one, I saw a couple comps for around $80 plus shipping new. So I got this for $2 and something. <laughs> so great pickup. And then finally, I was leaving at Goodwill and I saw this up by the desk. They had it $20. This Nike Air jacket. It's in really good condition. It's vintage. And, you know, I didn't want to hold up the line or anything kind of an impulse buy i know i can return it because my only real concern with it is i didn't know if it was real or not you see the tag there it looks i say this a lot about nike stuff i always get this stuff and i'm like that tag just seems cheap I'm no expert on this stuff but if it is real i think it's at least a 60 dollar jacket it's got pretty good stuff in the back there this is something i might return if i can't find any like true comps on it um i don't know any experts out there in clothing and Nike products can let me know what they think. thought that was a tear, but I guess that's just a piece of fuzz stuck up under the webbing there. Yeah, it's in good condition. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I found some awesome things, some rare things, the wrestling shirts. You know, I'm just thrilled to find those. If you enjoyed the video, I'll ask you to hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed. It does matter. It helps the video a lot. I do appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.